Welcome back to Short Game Pros. I'm Coach AJ, and today we are talking about Bryson DeChambeau. He's such a hot topic in golf right now, and the main reason he's hot is because he is hitting it far, and he is winning golf tournaments. It's great to see him win the Rocket Mortgage Classic last week, but when we look at the stats, is the long drive the main reason he brought home the victory? And at the end of the day, maybe it wasn't. Go ahead and take a look. Who led the tournament last week in strokes, gain, putting? You guessed it, Bryson DeChambeau did. So if you're like me, you don't have a chance of hitting these 370 yard drives like he does, but maybe we can putt like him. So today we're gonna to talk about a few things that he does in his putting stroke, his putting setup, and his execution. So potentially you can go ahead and make more putts as well. All right, so first let's talk about the putter. This is not his exact putter, but the specs are pretty similar. So this is actually from Lab Golf directed force. Uh, this is our fitting club, but allows us to adjust the length and adjust the lie angle to make it more similar to what Bryson uses uh, out on the course. All right, so what does he use? He uses uh, a putter from Sick Golf, who we partnered with a couple years ago. And that putter is almost 80 degrees in lie angle and over 40 inches in length. Granted, he's 6'1", and I'm not. So I've only set this to me for 38 inches, but still the reason for the longer club is because we're actually gonna lock it into our left forearm. So this method is called arm lock putting, so that when we set up to it, this putter actually will lock into or attach to your left forearm. So the reason for that is it stabilizes your left wrist especially, and overall stabilizes the putter face. Arm lock putting system, the grip actually sets in your left hand and also on your left forearm. And then the right hand would sit uh, just below that as well. All right, for end of range of motion, one thing I do in my putting uh, style currently is I only deviate my wrists and take them to the end of range of motion so there's less chances or less variables in the stroke. So I set my wrists currently up here uh, so they're more stable. If, if they were in a more neutral position, range of motion could go this way or this way. So he's clearly done that. He's done that in his wrist, but he's also done that in his arms. So he's taken his arms and he's, you can do this at home. Go ahead and stick them straight out, rotate them all the way open till you feel that end of range of motion. And now they can't rotate both ways anymore. If they were to move, they can only move in one direction since you've set them at the end of range of motion. So let's do your left forearm first, or your left arm first. Take your left arm, Go ahead and rotate it all the way as far as you can and then set that right on the club. Now I've rotated my left arm to the left as far as possible. It won't go anymore, which is nice. We've killed the variable of the left arm rotating more to the left. Now we're going to take the right arm and rotate it all the way to the right. As I put that on the club, I've killed the variable of the right hand rotating more to the right. It can only rotate to the left. So what's cool about this is the right hand can only rotate to the left and the left arm can't move left. So even if you try, it's not going to go anywhere because you've already reached your end of range of motion. Same thing with the right. The right hand can only go to the right, or the left hand can only go right, but the end of range of motion due to the right hand won't allow that either. So what he's created is a very stable environment for his hands based on how he's reached end of range of motion with his arms. All right, so rotate all the way to the left, put it on there, rest the club in his left forearm, take your right hand, rotate it all the way to the right, and now he's created a very stable environment so that he won't have any movement or play in his wrist, which will eventually lead to less face rotation. All right, so as we talk about face rotation, most of us see face rotation in the putting stroke, and in reality, all that is is the putter moving on its arc. Well, due to his very upright 80 degree lie angle, that already builds us for a more straight back, straight through putting style. If you have a flatter lie angle, that will lead to more of an arc, upright is more straight back, straight through. So he's got everything at end of range of motion, locked out, less variables. He's got the club long enough to set on his left forearm, and then he's got a lie angle to help with the straight back, straight through. All right, next thing we will talk about. Since this is sitting in your left forearm, the club is gonna be de-lofted more than your normal club that may be sitting just in the middle of your stance. All right, due to that, you would need to add loft to your putter. So most putters are gonna come 
with about three degrees aloft. If you're then leaning this this far to the left to sit on that left forearm, you're gonna need to add loft to the putter. All right, let's go ahead and roll some and take a look and see what it looks like. I can tell you it feels very weird, everything being so locked out, but at the same time, the face feels very stable. All right, it definitely felt stable on those shorter strokes on that 10 footer. We're gonna go ahead and go to some longer putts and see if we can feel that same stability in the stroke. In the meantime, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell so you can get all of our weekly content from the Short Game Pros. Thanks for watching this video today on how to improve your putting by putting more like Bryson DeChambeau. We know that when he first showed up at the Heritage just after the quarantine, he looked huge and buff and he was bombing his drives and that got him in the media. And it was even better to see him validate his changes by winning at the Rocket Mortgage Classic this last week. But we know that the win was not only due to his long drives, he led the, the field in strokes gain putting which is one of the best ways to win. If you look at the winner on tour every week, they're right at the top of strokes game putting because at the end of the day, you have to golf your ball and you have to get it in the hole regardless of how far you hit it. Hopefully you're able to implement some of these things into your putting stroke so that you can feel more stable on the putting greens, you can improve your pace, you can improve your start direction, and you can make more putts. See you next week.